Hello and welcome to the All Made Up podcast with me, Harry Stakini, Me, Lewis Coleman. And me, Ben Hart. Each week we are joined by a fantastic guest who joins us in the writer's room to create a story like you've never heard before. None of us know what's around the corner or what we'll find along the way, as this podcast is exactly what it says on the tin, it's all made up. I think you delivered it the exact same as last week. There yeah. are no tone changes whatsoever. Just okay, do you want me to lean back? No, no, you're consistent. It's, that's consistent. very... It's no, like you're just, if you're James, do that. James Milner yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do that, I might as well use the same as last week. It saves yeah, yeah. loads of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Literally, note for note, yeah. exactly the same. Though. Sometimes, mate, it's um, it just comes natural to me. What, being the same as every, same every yeah, time? Yeah, the most vanilla podcast man you've ever heard. <laughs> I got told I've got a, a nice tone of voice when it comes to... You do have a nice tone, exactly. Yeah, yes. I mean, like, a film, a very good film is great, but you keep watching the same one yeah. over and over yeah. again. Do you want me to try again, then? No, I, I like it. You like it? I okay. like yeah. it. Yeah. It's, it's good, it's good, so consistent. We're going to rely on you. Yeah, I hope so. I hope yeah. so, you know what I mean? I'm uh, I'm not saying I'm the driving force of this podcast. Um, no, you're not. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we are, I think we all know the engine is. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you, I'm, I'm not this, I'm the smelly thing you have in the front of the car. Yeah, you're yeah, the, yeah. Take it or leave it. It just runs yeah. out occasionally. Just hanging on by a fucking thread. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where I am. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, this week we've got the fantastic Liam Pickford. Fantastic again. Again, I'll tell yeah. you what, we've got the, the great... The brilliant, the think, amazing. Think of uh, like alliteration, an L, something Liam Pickford. Uh, the luscious, luscious, Ooh, yeah, luscious yeah. Liam Pickford. Yeah, I like yeah, that. the luscious Liam Pickford. Le- um, Lebanese. The Lebanese. Lebanese. Yeah, he is the <laughs> he is the least Lebanese man you will ever meet. I think of L's. Um, yeah, no, I think luscious. Let's stick with luscious. I like that. The yeah. luscious Liam Pickford. Yeah. Um, Go on, tell us about him then, because obviously me and Ben, yeah, we've never met him, but no, you no, have, met you've met before, so. yeah. he's a stand-up uh, comedian. He is, who's not Lebanese, uh, no. <laughs> just to clarify, he is a stand-up comedian, he's uh, obviously a very, very funny guy, um, and it's, it's Liam, I was trying to figure out a way how to describe him, right, because obviously you've never seen him. Fantastic. Um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had I had a look on his, uh, on his website, and the first line, it says... If Stuart Lee, Jack D, and Morrissey ever had a child, they would call Liam their son. And I thought that is what spot a statement on. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's going to get in and be like, oh, "We'll go out tonight." <laughs> um, but I thought that's pretty spot on um, because Liam, when he's on stage, as he's like, he is miserable, um, and nice. he does look like uh, Morrissey. Um, but, you know, he has got that Stuart Lee kind of level of intelligence. <laughs> so it was a great quote. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any better. Do you good, know what? It was that good. good I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good it was. Um, but very excited to have him on. Yeah, um, so am I after hearing that intro. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think I think as well, we should probably let the, the listeners know um, that uh, Liam's had his tooth removed today. Um, he was yeah. meant to have it done at 11 o'clock this morning. Yeah. And his appointment got pushed. So it, it happened at four o'clock this afternoon. And after recording this intro, Ari has to go and pick him up from Atherton because yeah. he isn't actually in the building yet. So, no, no. yeah. Um, what I think is funny about that, Harry, is that obviously he's managed to do a podcast an hour and a half after his tooth taken out. You took a week off. Yeah. Where does he lay the pod yeah, from? I've shown you right <laughs> up there. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. Like, oh, God. You just, I can't even see straight when yeah. I've had this tooth out. Yeah. Is, it, is it supposed I, to fit your legs? <laughs> I, I, I had surgery, mate. That's what I had. I didn't oh, have food. I had dental surgery. I had six teeth out altogether when I was a kid. Yeah, but that's just being from Lee, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty yeah. standard. Yeah. <laughs> so I, sold, I sold them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> six teeth. Yeah, they're in your six mouth. Six teeth, yeah. yeah. I had, so basically, when I was younger, I had an underbite. So oh, yeah. They, had, they took six teeth out to sort that out. Six? How big was it? Six, yeah. yeah it How was, big was your chin? Like, exactly, yeah. <laughs> like tusks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had that. Come back and it's raining. <laughs> it's going to drown. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had um, a brace when I was in primary school, like a retainer brace that pushed my jaw back in. Yeah. And then when I got to high school, I had... Uh, Train tracks put in as well, so and a cyst, yeah, and a big cyst in the middle of my head. So I wasn't the most attractive looking lad. You're to be fair, I was actually still attractive, I think. So yeah, mate, I, 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 I think um, you're a good looking lad. Yeah, uh, yeah. slender, yeah, yeah, yeah. slender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> behind a paywall, you can see he's sewn on nipples. Yeah, yeah. okay. When I, when I turn this way, I go two D. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're looking uh, there though. Some people have to have like operations and have it put back and all sorts. You're yeah. looking with that. Some brace. people like go on about it all the time once they've had. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I had surgery, mate. That's what I had. That's yeah. what I had. I got put under. I had one of them morphine masks. Mate. About I didn't have a yeah. morphine mask. Oh, I did. I had a morphine mask. You passed yeah. out. You did, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Doctor, <laughs> you passed out. The doctor went near you and the you went. I remember when I had me. Yeah, exactly that. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had, <laughs> and I, what a feeling. 
I had my appendix out in year seven at high school. Is there anything left of you? Yeah, no. <laughs> I just, I don't, there's, not, there's not a lot of me. That's why you're so slender. Yeah, I had a, have you ever had a reaction to like the anaesthetic, like coming back up and like being you a bit... aggressive? I didn't get aggressive. I kept calling the nurse Pauline Fowler. Yeah. You know, for your standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was it, yeah. Imagine if it was Pauline I'd, Fowler. I've never been knocked out, you know, like... Really? In, in 55 fights. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, never, you never had, like, big no, surgery? Never listened, no, never. Wow. You'd be surprised. I was looking at me. I've just managed to ride the wave. <laughs> yeah. A healthy guy. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, Lewis. But, but yeah, I just can't afford surgery. I've had, I've had loads of anaesthetic. I've had teeth yeah. out, my appendix out. Uh, no, I've never been knocked out. I've got tonsils out. Uh, I had like two out. teeth out, but they just did that thing where they you know, inject your gums and make it numb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never, yeah, I I've never been knocked out by like. Obviously, I've gotten blind drunk in the past, but like. Yeah, but never. No, I've never been. What, what next week? Ben's dead. He's yeah. had like, major surgery. When they when they did took the cyst out in my face, obviously the cyst. <laughs> 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 How many things? Have you got time? <laughs> I had, I had, honestly, in, in high school, this was like, you... <laughs> it's tickled it. Why has that tickled you so much? It's real lucky that you've had all this stuff, Lewis. I'm yeah. sorry it's happened to you. In high school, it was like, have a year nine or year 10, yeah. I got a spot in the middle of my eyes there, right? And I just thought it was a spot at first, but it just didn't stop growing. <laughs> yeah. It just didn't stop growing. It was getting bigger and bigger. And then one day it popped and I was like, thank God for that. Like it, it's gone. Must be yeah. so sore that. Oh mate, oh, it was yeah. so, it was so like. Did you see or was it like uh, No, no it, well, this is it. So it popped when it was like big, it was big. Straight in your eyes. But <sighs> yeah, well, this is it, it popped. Oh, really? If you let me finish the fucking story. <laughs> so popped and then obviously it went then and I thought, oh, buzzing, it's gone. Yeah. And then I think it must've been like a few weeks later, it just started growing again. Same spot, but even bigger and faster, stronger. And then like it, the plant in a what's it? What's yeah, it? like Audrey Two out a little shop of horrors. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it went bigger to the point where I could see it in my eyes, in my eye line, and the really? people would be talking to me, and like their eyes would be going a bit cross-eyed <laughs> because they were focusing on it. Obviously, not commenting on it. Yeah. But then just. You could tell that when that's you left the room, they're going. Have you seen the sounds of that? Anymore? Yeah, exactly. It was yeah. grim. It was yeah. grim, mate. I was told there was a rhino in Wigan when I was in, in Lee when I was younger. Yeah, it was me, <laughs> mate. Anyway, um, I was in RE. I was in RE. Obviously, they were getting pissed stuck out of me off my mates and like because I was obviously in school. Yeah. And then I remember being in RE. What do they call you? Well, um, For a rhino face. Well, it was more after it. Like once I had my operation, it was like Fanny Bro, Harry Potter. Um, what was some? Some of others, because basically I had a big slit down the middle of my eyes, didn't right. I? Fanny Brown makes sense. Then. Yeah, yeah, Fanny Brown. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was in RE, and it was Miss Connolly teaching Irish, and then teaching Irish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was Irish. Doing Gaelic Good morning, school, class. Yeah. Then you come. <laughs> Please ignore Lewis's eyebrows. <laughs> Somebody says it's a language. It's not. <laughs> and I remember the lad next to me said, "Lewis, it's it's." It's leaking. <laughs> and I touched it. So and then I just felt this big dribble go down all my face. Oh. I went to Miss, Miss, can I can I sort this out? And she was like, <laughs> You're taking yeah. time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what's, what's, what was coming out of it? Like, like pus. A- like pus coming out of my face. Anyway, I went to Nurse's oh, Nurse's yeah. sort of office. She gave me a paper towel. I said, No thanks. I <laughs> yeah. just went into the mirror and I just went as hard as I could and it just you know Kevin and Perry oh yeah. I would like, love to do that it fucking burst on tip mirror I thought it was going to smash it it came out that hard um, but yeah absolutely <laughs> dripping all down my face it looked like I'd been in a fight but yeah great. had a really good time that's yeah. mad because yeah. you'd never tell no no only when I obviously you see it now but yeah it was it like now. the size of a 50, 50 pence piece that's you, you got to show me a picture of this that's fucking massive yeah it was yeah. big mate yeah. it was like, that was like finding out Arrow from Milton Keynes it's all up the game So we're here with Liam Pickford. Hiya. How are you doing? I'm in fucking agony. <laughs> Absolute agony. I know you, you've, you've had the tooth out, haven't I've you? Had a, I've had a dental extraction about three hours ago. Well, good for and you, mate. Te- <laughs> testament, testament to how much I like the sound of my own voice. Yeah, suffer for your heart, they say, don't they? Come so. here to f- somewhere, it's not even Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking abattoir somewhere. On the- <laughs> with you three bastards. Yeah. So I can drink out of a cup that's got yeah. your own faces on it. Yeah. I think the anaesthetic's wearing off. Yeah. That's what I think, yeah, yeah. The doctor said no, the mic. Not. 
Clip it. It's going out. That's going out. There you go. <laughs> Million views. There you go. But no, you have actually had a tooth extraction, and you were telling me in the car over the fact it was obviously very painful. It was. It was not nice. The reason it, I, my teeth are so bad is because I don't like going to the dentist. So I went to like primary care thing on Thursday. Yeah. And I opened my mouth, and she sighed. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is that? I opened my gob and she went, oh no, why not? Yeah. And they wouldn't even let me keep it. I, I, I've kept my teeth, like I said before. Oh, nice one, mate, good for you. Yeah, you can so, one. <laughs> I reckon we get cracking. I think we get into it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Remember that, what we came for. <laughs> it's all made up, baby. Right, okay, so I'll, I'll explain how it works. So basically you've got... Three little pots with sentences in front of you. One's mm. green, one's red, one's orange. The green one is where the sentence we're going to be starting with. The red one is the sentence we're going to be finishing with. But before we get into that, we're going to start with a character. We're going to pick a character name and we're going to flesh it out. So what would you like your character's name to be for today? Kindly Dr. Ascorocopter. That's 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 wordy, that. <laughs> kindly Dr. Ascorocopter. Sure? Kindly Doctor. Kindly. Oh, right. So his first name's Kindly. Yeah, every doctor's first name is kindly. <laughs> right, okay, kindly doctor. He's because he's a kindly doctor. Do you know, you know, like in costume dramas? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, I got, I got a uh, scarlet fever again. Well, you better ring kindly doctor. Benny, you better come round and kindly doctor. He's always kind, and he only charges us for hand jobs and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. You know, not money like the landed gentry people. They have to pay doubloons and whatever money we had in the old days. We just have to give. <laughs> Relentless sexual favour. <laughs> so, so hang on. What's his name? <laughs> so what's his name, yeah? Basically, I want to do a, a Darling Buds of May late night. Okay, so hang on. So doc- what's his name? <laughs> kindly. He's called Kindly. <laughs> he can't be called Kindly. Called kindly. He's called Kindly Doctor. Right, kindly, kind- like Kindly we know. No, I said Kindly. 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 Like kindly. kindly. All right. Do something kindly. Okay, Kindly. <laughs> <Spoken, yeah. laughs> his name's Kindly Doctor. What was his, what was his last name? What? Uh, kindly Doctor Beef Mitten. We'll <laughs> okay, right. Kindly, yeah. kindly Doctor Beef Mitten. Okay. Right, okay. okay. So let's uh, have a bit of backstory on uh, Kindly. Where is he from? Well, he's from Hattersley. Uh, which is in a, a council estate in Greater Manchester. But he's also a policeman. Okay. Right. And basically, he's undercover at a dental surgery in Hattersley because there's been uh, taking people's teeth and not knowing what they're doing with them. <laughs> right, okay. And he has a New York accent. So <laughs> he, he works at a dental practice? Yeah, but he's undercover he's as a, a dentist. Yeah. How, lo- how long has he been undercover for? Like, ages. Like, I'd say six months. And he talks like that. <laughs> okay, and he's in Manchester. In Hasley, yeah, because yeah. yeah, of because of wasps. Right, That's why he talks like that. And uh, how old is he? <laughs> oh, that, you can do all that. I, that you know, is I'm, he... I'm the creative spark. You, You're uh, like the accountants. Yeah, <laughs> you do the numbers. Yeah, we're, we're, we're shackles. So is yeah. he? <laughs> Too raw. That's my problem. <laughs> in my head, I have him in his forties. I reckon so because he must be jaded. Because he must right. have seen a lot with this. I'm sick of being made to play kindly doctors. Every, you know, like... So, all oh, right, so they bring him in. He's a kindly he, he's, doctor he's a lot. He's a kindly doctor specialist. <laughs> right. right, okay. Just a little undercover moment between either a <laughs> yeah. kindly doctor. They can, they, yeah, and he, like, yeah. like... You get a lot of information as a doctor. Oh, yeah, of course you do, yeah. yeah. You can yeah, ask anything, like, can't you, really? Snatch Adams over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> snatch Adams. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> right, so hang on. Someone's changing the Twitter handle when they get. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. He's in his forties. Uh, he's jaded. His job's a dentist. Um, no, his job's no, a police a, officer. Job's a police officer, yeah. right? But he's an undercover as a dentist yeah. Yeah, in yeah. Hattersley. Yeah, with a New York Manchester. with a New York accent. And is this set like now? Yeah, like okay. about four hours ago. When <laughs> <laughs> fucking suit. Right. Okay. Right. They've um, been harvesting human ivory. Do you not think we should maybe get the, the first one? No, I reckon we build him a bit more. So does more. this does this guy have any family? I imagine no. I just picture him as divorced. Divorced, right? Okay. 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 Carol. Was well, the job you know, to, job was like really affected it? Like, why are you never home? She's from New York as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very, but they stick out in hats. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do. I mean, that was people's first question, but he smoothed it over with a bagel. Okay. You know. uh, yeah. You might doubt my uh, reasons for being here, but have you ever tried a bagel? And it's a like, fucking big bagel as well. Yeah. It's yeah. huge. That's the joy of it. Yeah. You know, it's one per family. 
<laughs> right, okay. <laughs> has he got kids? He's not allowed to see them. He's not allowed to see them. So he has got yeah, them. He has. Yeah. How he's many? Got them. How many? Well, he's got Marcy. Yeah. Uh, Jalinda. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah. Buddy 2. <laughs> Buddy 3 died. Okay. Oh, God. And Budette. Budette. So it's so like a female replacement for dead Buddy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So five kids. Alive. I don't know, mate. One dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your world. Yeah. <laughs> so five kids alive, one dead. He doesn't see them. Yeah. For some reason, we might find out later on. Carol's... Carol's Carol. Yeah, Carol's his wife. Carol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously... He's undercover in Hattersley, but yeah. where is he from? He, he's from where? Please tell me he's NYPD. No, Wigan. <laughs> no, he's from Wigan. He puts on the New York accent. Oh, actually. right. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> he had a stroke. You know, people have strokes and they wake up with yeah, different, different accents. accents. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One that, that happened. I saw that. The woman who woke up with a Chinese accent. That is mental, that one. Yeah, he's, he's hating that it. Is. And the man who woke up, he could uh, speak in fluent French, which I don't quite understand. That's happened before. He oh, woke yeah. up and just started speaking French. I'd Sweet. be fuming if that happened. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be you like, forgot if it speak yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, I want a better language than French. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Spanish, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. You look, if you started speaking Mandarin, <laughs> yeah. then everyone just thought you were taking the piss. Yeah, right, well, I'll tell you what, let's get a car going. <laughs> right, okay. Um, right, okay, so in that pot which, where there's loads of green sentences, yeah. pick one of them up, and where there is a blank in the sentence, say, kindly doctor. And this is going to be the start of our story. The kindly doctor was born with a third eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Right, <laughs> this is this this really does help the story yeah. already. <laughs> right, so, okay. So that's where we're starting, but we're also going to find out where we're finishing straight away as well. Right, so okay. the, pick one of the red cards and uh, read that out. They ended up with 10 million followers. Right, so 10 mil followers ended up with, and obviously he's got a third eye, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Kindly That's, doctor. I'm, when you mean a third eye, right, is I it I mean like... his arsehole, Harry. <laughs> right. Okay. No, it's like spiritual. It's not spiritual. Like it's under... Or is he a psych? Like, you know they, what call mean? It like a, they call it like a third eye for I, spiritual I, stuff, I mean, I, w- that would be great, like a, 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 a mind cop. Yeah. Kindly yeah. doctor, you know confronting uh, asking the spirit world for <laughs> well it's your, it's your <laughs> story <laughs> it's your story right, so it's a spiritual when he's not I... outside his wife's house please Carol it was only online I you thought know, it was Karen <laughs> <laughs> it's Carol yeah, is he Carol, Carol? Yeah. right okay listen to the words <laughs> I uh, but yeah that's a good start to like um Paperback detective novel, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So he's got a mind's eye. He was born with a third eye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's like a, it's like a, 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 a spiritual eye. It's not an actual physical yeah, or, or his, guy. Or his arsehole. Yeah. <laughs> or well, a spiritual arsehole on his forehead. So if, he, if he's got this third eye and he's working undercover yeah. as a dentist, <laughs> right? Yeah. What is he looking for within this practice, like, to, for him to be he's undercover? Look, one, he wants to know where the fucking teeth have gone. <laughs> the start. Even though he's taking them out. Uh, so someone's nicking No, them no, off. he's taking them out. But, yeah, but when he put when he's finished an extraction, which yeah. he's not very good at because he's a policeman. <laughs> yeah. Right? You know, yeah, no yeah. training. The crime going. would have finished by the time he'd finished training, which is probably a yeah. flaw. Right, okay, so he's um, he's wondering where the teeth are, right? So every day he's in there. Wondering where, whose teeth are? His own? The patient. No, the patient. No, his, his teeth are in his mouth. Not right, so what, <laughs> right, so let's let's strip it back here. So he's working as a dentist undercover, uh-huh. and he's wants to figure out where the teeth go after they've been extracted from yeah. the patients. Right, okay. And that the police have set him on this? Yes. Right, okay, the because the police want to find out. Yeah, because, you know, Antersley's not got enough wrong with it. <laughs> right. Okay. Where the Moore's murders are from. And if they like, they'll investigate kind of like human interest crimes, which makes people forget about the horrific murders. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. I would think so. Anyway, yeah, I think it's, that'd it's be more good of like a PR thing right. rather than. Okay, <laughs> okay. So has he got any leads? Has he got? Has he? Has he figured he's out? He's been to Leeds. He's been <laughs> yeah. to Leeds, and did he find anything out? Yeah, he went to the Leeds School of Dentistry. Yeah, right. Okay, nice. Where he spoke to uh, one of the lecturers they have there. Let, do, do you want to role play it? Right. So, um, what's his name? Doctor Strange. No, Dr. Kindly. <laughs> Dr. Kindly. Ka- kindly Do- Doctor. Do you, kind- want be, do you kind- want to be Kindly Doctor? Yeah. And I'll be the Yorkshire, <laughs> Yorkshire, Yorkshire lecturer. And you've come, you've come to Leeds School of Dentistry yeah. to ask for what? I, for, no, for dental knowledge, like a higher dental knowledge that I was able to pass off my character. 
yeah. as a dentist. Oh, so you, so go you, on then. you think ask, that people are scientists? Ask, ask away in, 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 your, in your really thick Hattersley New York accent. <laughs> This is really stupid. It is, but it's all made up, mate. If this, <laughs> if this was Cambridge students, I'd fucking kill them. Like, fucking <laughs> Oxford. We are with the Lee footnotes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Kindly Doctor. What's his, my name again? Beef Mitten. Kindly Doctor Beef Mitten. At least that's my undercover name. I'm so undercover that I'm undercover when I don't need to be undercover, which is in this circumstance here. I am here at the Leeds School of Dentistry to talk to an authorised, licensed Yorkshire dentist in order that he might improve my outlook and my, my, my persona when approaching dentistry, of which I know very little about. I know about bagels and living in Hattersley. That's all I know. I would like to prise your mind open. What are teeth? What are their motives? To be honest, what I are think they hiding? The made of calcium, I think. <laughs> Think they're made of cal- calcium, pure calcium. You have little ones, then you lose them. I like lo- what, like my child, like Buddy yeah. Three, you yeah. son of a horse. <laughs> You've like not that. given me any context who Buddy is, to be honest. Uh, so <laughs> no. it's difficult for me to. What get I've a- done is I break in the fourth wall. Yeah. And I word I say breaking, but that's how we say broken in Addersley. Well. Look, if you if you need any advice on you know dentistry, because obviously if you're working undercover, I w- I want you to crack your case. I really want you to get your teeth into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> how much do teeth weigh? Oh, how, how long's a piece of string? You know what I mean? It's, uh, <laughs> it could be any amount. <laughs> I imagine he's pulling teeth out with a piece of string. Like he shuts the door, he ties he ties people's teeth and just shuts the door every time. And that's like <laughs> I tried that before people died. <laughs> Let me tell you, I think that um, if teeth are going missing, right, that's that's for mainly two options, okay? Uh, that is either they're getting rid of them uh, because they don't need them. Well, how many teeth would be required, in your professional opinion, to create a giant tooth monolith? Mainly. <laughs> <laughs> like an orb. Like for satanic purposes or a huge bone javelin. Maybe for a moida, a far away moida. <laughs> a moida. <laughs> So, 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 so he thinks that the person stealing it is using it for devil worship, or I think that's a line we could work on because every every cop show. Well, has obviously, because he's got the spiritual side as well that we've not touched on yet. The third eye. We've not touched his third eye. No. So Harry wants to. Yeah. <laughs> um. I think. I think. Right. He's visited this this uh, doctor in Leeds. Yeah. And he's he's found out a bit about teeth. He's found out a little bit. He's found out. Lord. How, Lord, so how many Lord. teeth? I'm, I'm happy with the amount left. of information you yeah. provided. Yeah. 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 You've got plenty of information there. I reckon we we fall back into Hattersley, and he's in is in the what would you call it? An, dental what, practice. Dental is, it's in the practice, and yeah. I reckon it sounds like he's practicing. <laughs> I am. Is, I am. is <laughs> the personal hygienist in on it or not? You know the per. That's the, what I'm trying to find out. I reckon. So that's another character now. Yeah. I reckon yeah. she should be called Julie. Yeah. Because that's a Hattersley name. Yeah. You know, that's a good Does she sound like she's from Hattersley? Or? Yeah, she sound like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Julie. Nice. Don't, I, don't, how old don't. is she? I reckon, was she 17? <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I'm really glad you said I'm that. An, I'm an apprentice girl. <laughs> yeah. It's my job to put a finger up the ass so they don't scream. I imagine she looks like a cigarette. Yeah. My, all well, my family. My head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the boyfriend's called Gary. Gary, he does. He's a painter and decorator. <laughs> yeah, you can see it, can't you? I mean, he's got one van. I mean, next year we're hoping for two. <laughs> and we might be able to do ladders again once the charges are dropped. <laughs> right. So, so, so she, obviously she's seventeen. She can't work that work there that long, can she? So, it does, does he suspect her of being in, in on the stealing of the teeth? Obviously, when no, he she puts them could down, be a love interest. As well. Actually, no, she's seventeen. It's weird. <laughs> well, why don't you just make her eighteen? That'd be easier for you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like that, that you just went up one year. And it's fine. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. So <laughs> <laughs> the judgmental tone that came from you. Then. Oh, oh, you judging me? Last time I tried out with <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you can't let that go. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, okay. So where we're at at the moment is he's back in Asley. He knows that these teeth have gone missing. He's not suspecting the hygienist. She is a love interest. Maybe she's older, though. She's got lovely dinner lady hands. Yeah. Right. Okay. I reckon we get a prompt in there now just to spice it up a it's bit the again. Orange. So the orange one. Pick one of the orange oh, ones, wow. and we're going to incorporate <laughs> this into the story in the next few minutes. Oh, this will help. 
<laughs> Go on, what's it read? A haircut seemed necessary. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. So haircut. at some point in the next few minutes, a haircut has got to seem necessary. Well, I started to draw suspicion because I had a full patch sharp mullet. <laughs> and it was pointed out to me that it's 2023 and that haircut, whilst coming back into fashion, is doing so without the hairspray embellishment needed to make it this massive. And then a bit of mullet could go into a patient's mouth. Yeah. You know, when he's like, when he's, he's observing, he's observing, right? <laughs> and then they start choking and that could be like the first kind of, uh, you know, it raise the tension. Yeah. Is, it a, is it a certain type of patient that like they're extracting teeth? Well, it's been teeth? a certain type, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting at, mate? Yeah, I mean, are they taking anyone's teeth in specific because it's, it ha- holds more value than the other person's like, is it specifically like Vir- virgin's teeth? I think they were. <laughs> virgin's teeth. Yeah, they yeah. have more. I'd say. I think if you're going to use teeth for anything satanic, they would surely have more more power. So he's took these teeth out. They've been bagged or whatever yeah. they are after they've been taken I, out. I don't know what they do with teeth. Where are they transported to next? I think some sort of church. But yeah. a and church. who's taking you know, them? Like you avoid a pub with a flat roof, like Sean yeah. Lott said. I reckon a church with a flat roof. Yeah, I'd f- I don't know about you, lot. I'd find that really sinister. Right, so oh, okay. It's a flat roof church. That yeah, these, te- these teeth like are taken a, a to a church yeah. for wrongans. But how does he find that out? How does yeah. he find out they've been taken to a flat yeah, roof he church? He disguises himself. So, so he has suspicion that they're being taken somewhere else, and in yeah. his mind, his, 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 his mind's eye, his third eye, yeah, is it's just popped into his head. Church. No, yeah, and so that we could have that bit now where it's like he's 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 during during this dental like Practice, surgery. Yeah, he likes ah, you know, like like visions and yeah, stuff. It's and it's me. just just like a gob, like a like that. Yeah, like screaming, <laughs> and like trying to say flat roof, but can't because he's got no teeth. He sounds like an idiot. Can he do that? First? Right. So in his mind's eye, like that. in his mind's eye, it's a mouth with no teeth. <laughs> yeah. In his mind's eye, that's yeah, how yeah, it yeah, speaks, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It adds that bit of confusion, doesn't it? So it's not yeah. like a clear vision. It's like yeah, he's it's trying like to decide for it. It's like yeah. a toothless gob. Yeah. I think there is a good story there. So basically, he's been in practice. His mind's eye has just started hitting him. And he's it, this toothless gob has said, <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. Exactly. Yeah. And he, he's gone flat roof. Flat, flat earth. roof. <laughs> so he's gone on a walk and he's noticed... A pub which didn't actually have a flat roof, but then the church next to it. What's the church called? Uh, oh, that's a good name. Something really offensive. That's okay, like, Harry. Uh, maybe. We've <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting absolutely battered me. Uh, <laughs> so what, what are those? Who's t- who is he followed to the church though? He but follows the the van full of teeth. Okay, so yeah, they, they go out the room, <laughs> they, they go in the bag, and then they go into this van. What are you going to call the church? I don't know what church is called. They're not called like Dave and that. They my, like church, my church were called uh, St. Gabriel's Parish. We had Barry Parish Church. Church. Yeah, Barry yeah. Parish Church. We had Barry. Yeah. I just, I just, I, I saw one next to a screw fix one time, and yeah. I thought, fair God, enough. No, God is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's oh, the name even, of the church. E- even next to Wix. Yeah, God, wait, what, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if it's what if it's God is everywhere church or something? Oh what no, because it's Hattersley, the Church of Jesus Christ and Hatters Day Saints. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is perfect. Yeah. So like they're like Mormons, but. Unemployed, <laughs> right. Right. unemployed okay. Mormons. And have we managed to get the prompt in as well? Have we included that bit? The the, the yellow card. Yeah, he said it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah he right said that we're through that. We're the fine. her went through in the. Ah, the bit of my mullet fell into a patient's yeah. gob. So what haircut did he end up getting? A uh, shorter mullet. Shorter mullet. Yeah. Just, Just same. Yeah. yeah, like them that. Uh, you know, the, 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 kid, the young people have these days when yeah. you go into Manchester and they just they just shave the sides, don't they? I said, yeah, it's like we I'm not about that. Yeah. yeah, but but your character is so he's trying to blend in with that haircut, maybe. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, but he's not doing because no. he's, a, he's, <laughs> a, he's a New York cop in Hattersley for <laughs> yeah. God's sake. So he's staking out this church at Mormon. He's observing. Yeah, he's observing. That's it. Uh, he's observing this church, and um, yeah, the van pulls up in front of it or at the back of it. I imagine for some reason I'm seeing wire fence around this church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost it's, like it's, well, barbed it's, wire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watchtowers. Yeah. It's a very like fucking distinctive church. Yeah, it's like Handmaid's Tale. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's weird when you watch Handmaid's Tale though now, and it's like how much it does look like Wigan. Yeah, yeah. all of it. <laughs> so he gets he gets to this church, barbed wire fences and that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he scale the fence? Yeah, but then he realises he doesn't need to. He's popping <laughs> yeah. the gates open. Right, yeah. okay, classic. <laughs> but yeah. he scaled it first, got a few bad wire cuts over his I, arms. I think it's important, like, the key character aspect is that he just rolls over bonnets 
any given opportunity. <laughs> yeah, right. I love yeah. that. So he's rolled over the hearse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. always constantly armed for yeah. no reason. Yeah. So whenever yeah. he sees a car, yeah. it's like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has to borrow all it. I'd like yeah. some, like, 80s kind of... Uh, like synth guitar. Synth, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like some key time. Bev- Be- okay. Beverly Hills Cop, like, type yeah, 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 yeah. Search music. Do, I get what you mean. Do, 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 do. Like yeah. yeah. And that's, he lost, he does lose a lot of uh, criminals because he <laughs> yeah. just they hear him coming. It. Yeah. 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 And and the synth music is coming from a speaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, that's it. They sound like, yeah. it sounds like a fat man with a mullet rolling over a car. Can you? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So he rolls over this car to go to what the, towards the entrance. And somebody, yeah. off my car, mate. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking that. <laughs> yeah. Me, fucking, I've, I've done fucking wrapped. <laughs> well, not rat mate. I've had been yeah. wire edging over rat mate. Okay. Don't know what that means. So me, yeah. mate, I've just wrapped my car right, <laughs> and you're fucking you're rolling over my wrapped car. My mate right? had his car wrapped. Me yeah. fucking yeah. This is a painting, isn't it? It's like a plastic this part, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. mum's pip paid for that. You're <laughs> rolling over my wrapped car. You rap rap like that. <laughs> right, so I've got that guy definitely. Yeah, yeah I like him. Yeah. Maybe, and maybe, and maybe he's gone and like investigated this guy. He's sort of gone right. This guy could know something. Yeah, so yeah, he goes yeah. over to the guy. I reckon you play Kindly Doctor now, right. and you're the guy whose car is rolled over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so good. you're trying to get information right. out of Kindly. Um, <laughs> uh, what's the name of the guy, the rap car guy? Well, I've, let's I've, give him a name. He re- uh, Daz Dazzleson. Daz Dazzleson. So you're, right. now, so you're now interviewing, you've got your notepad out and gun in hand. Yeah. I, f- I feel like uh, Kindly Doctor would like turn into every interaction. That he that he does. Yeah, yeah. He would. He's always at yeah. right angles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So Kindly Doctor, investigate Daz Dazzleson now. Daz Dazzleson, I believe. What? Don't, don't, nah, nah, nah. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. You don't use my full name when you're not my friend. You've just rolled over my car. Excuse we- me, Mr. DD. I'll, I'll take that. You know, I can write that on a bus stop, can't I? I'm not bothered about that. You know, I can write that down. What do you, what do you want, you weird, misplaced New York, morbidly obese, mullet-wearing officer of the law? That... <laughs> I want to ask you a few questions, huh? No, I didn't do out. I I'm not said, saying you did I out. don't know nothing about next door neighbours' chickens. I said, if you're going to have an animal that loud, it better be tasty, right? Just because there was chicken blood thrown around my lips, right? Don't prove now, mate. You've got now. Don't even... And she's a fat rat anyway. Don't even listen to anything she's saying. <laughs> She fucking, like, I've seen her Amazon packages get delivered and they knock on and say, oh, can you hold these for a neighbour? And she's like, yeah, never fucking see him again, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask you a question quick about you. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> right. There's lots of unpack there. <laughs> I want to ask you, this church over here. Don't never seen it before in my life. Don't you live opposite it. it. <laughs> <Answer>. <laughs> what do you mean you've never seen it, huh? <laughs> what was it about this? Like yeah. the way you made him sleazy. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a dog on a bar. Right, you know, I don't even start asking about that. I don't know nothing about like vans full of teeth. I'm going to put my gun down because oh, it feels oh, aggressive. Yeah, that, yeah, that, <laughs> don't know nothing don't know about that. vans full of teeth or satanic chanting or the fact that, you know, vans come How many times a week you seen this van come around, huh? Less than seven. <laughs> More than six. <laughs> six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> And when they're unpacking this van, what comes out of said van? How many teeth are we talking? I didn't say nothing about teeth. They come in sacks because you imagine, mate, right? Try to take <laughs> Individually <laughs> taking teeth. Jesus, <laughs> fucking. Right? I ain't seen nothing, though. Don't you be telling it. Don't and you where be- do they take these these bags? All I know is that you you fucking rolled over my wrapped car, mate, right? <laughs> don't roll over my wrapped megan ever again, right? Because I won't deal with you, but my brother will deal with you, and he's he's even more difficult than I am to deal with. <laughs> right, and then Daz Dazzleson gets in his car and drives off. Yeah. So that's the interaction you've just had. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so I reckon you're now in front of the church. I, re- I reckon it's time for another prompt. I reckon oh, we get yeah, another definitely. prompt in there. Because yeah. I reckon you're at the doors of the church now. And it's a decision whether or not you go in because you don't know what you're going into at the moment. Whether or not it's a normal church which they're trying to hide something. Yeah. Go on. So what's this prompt saying? The floor started shaking. Oh. Right. Okay. So try and incorporate that in the next few minutes. Right. So <laughs> hang on. The doctor. Yeah. You. Kindly go- doctor. Kindly doctor's gone inside. Am I still doing kindly doctor? 
Yeah, and I'll be I'll be the I'll be the weird. <laughs> no, let's swap it over. Yeah, I reckon yeah. you be kindly doctor, yeah. and you're now the priest. So he's gone. He's, has he gone in now? Or is he about to? He's, he... he's gone in. He's like I've, I've booted the door down, but I didn't need to because <laughs> 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 it, 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 it was open. Yeah, <laughs> one side's <laughs> open, and you booted the other door. <laughs> and what I do like, is I keep forward rolling up the aisle <laughs> and then back again. Okay. <laughs> But can we get just before we do the conversation? Can what are we seeing in this church? Is it like stained glass windows, or is there other decor? What we're seeing? No, if it's a flat roof church, I can't imagine being windows. It seems very dark. Dark. There's a dartboard in yeah, there. But, you <laughs> know, there, there, there would be a dartboard, you know, yeah. or uh, there'd be posters of like, you know, um, a dartboard with Jesus on it because it's satanic, isn't it? So maybe they're like throwing darts. At <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of the dartboard being like the the Last Supper. Yeah, I, I've just got triple Paul. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Judas said he's absolutely <laughs> mullered. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <You> rats. <laughs> He is King Rat in um, Right, so he, he sees he sees a Last Supper, which is like covered in dart holes. What are the pews like in this? Uh... Oh, they're not good pews. I've seen better. Yeah, I imagine I imagine it not being a pew, just being like chairs. You know, stools. like yeah, oh, stools. school chairs, them orange plastic ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Pen marks all okay. over him. Yeah, like, yeah. I love Satan written all over him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's trying. He's the, the, the priest when he's I finish rolling. Yeah. Um, I imagine that'll be about 35 minutes of rolling. Yeah. <laughs> what does this priest look like from like I see him head as like, to toe? Uh, I, a bit overweight with a beard. <laughs> no, I don't. I, <laughs> I see him as like really kind of like almost clinically clean, like, and he yeah. would, I think he would speak like an old English like actor. What does he wear? Okay. He's, wearing, he's, 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 he's fully priested. Like dog collar, he's got everything on. Fully priested up. Yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's, like, priest. he's like maximum priest. Yeah. You know, yeah. even though it's. it's, it's not a service. He's he's well. It's a front priest. place, isn't it? Is, is mate, it? I've gone full priest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Never never go full priest. Never uh, go full priest, mate. Right. So, so go on. Right. You you're speaking to the priest. What do you want to find out from this priest? Uh, I want to find out what the fuck you're doing with all of these teeth, you mad ecclesiastical fuckbag. <laughs> oh oh oh. What what teeth? <laughs> <laughs> This is superb. Yeah. <laughs> what teeth? The teeth have been harvested from the children of this dying council estate <laughs> coming into me. I have to masquerade as a priest. I've not I've masqueraded as a dentist. I've not seen my wife for ten years. <laughs> One of my kids has died. Another of them are just oh, they're ugly. And I'm here to put an end to your nefarious dental satanic deeds. <laughs> you weird misplaced <laughs> English fuck. Well, well, why are you so polite? That's well, a, that's, 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 a, that's a lot to unpack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, I, it's rolled in here. Um, I'll, I'll keep rolling. I, I, I don't know anything about the teeth, sorry. What I know about priests is they don't like people who can't stand still. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't see you, stop. I can't, I can't see you, stop it. You're just a blur. Uh, I'll tell you everything okay. you need to know. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how quick he's giving. As soon as he can't see you. Right, fun's over now. Just, you fucking got me. My hands are up. I, I feel so disorientated. <laughs> really uh, dizzy. It's, it's not me that wants the teeth. Who is it then? You fucking grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's... It's it's happening. He... Who shall not be named, but not Voldemort. Don't Harry Potter me, you no, piece no, no. of shit. No. I've read two books. Harry Potter 1 <laughs> and the Bible. <laughs> right. Lucifer. Lucifer who? Luc- What's Lucifer second name? Because on that what bus stop it says Lucy for Gaz. <laughs> Luc- Lucifer Gaz. That's Lucifer Gaz. Gaz. <laughs> Lucifer, <laughs> Lucifer Gaz. <laughs> not Lucifer he, Gaz. He, he came in here. Through the floor. <laughs> I want, I want all the teeth. <laughs> what is your right? <laughs> right, so, so Satan appeared in the church to the priest. Yeah. To the priest, and, and said if he wanted. He said, he said I, I, I want, want all, all the, the teeth, teeth of this local council. Did the priest state. ask why? Well, no, he's well. The, he just kept moving, so he's just so disorientated so, again. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That priest is severely triggered by <laughs> continuous human yeah, movement. He's just moving. <laughs> so. Um, He's sadly been working as a like a, for the devil, and he's, obviously he's ashamed. Yeah, when he's right. all his teeth. He would be ashamed, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. he'd be spy against um, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, popping up to Lucifer, mate. He's not bad, this God, you know. So, so maybe so then. Oh, 
he's here. The, then the floor started shaking. The floor started <laughs> shaking. What, so Lucifer appears? <laughs> oh, no. Right. Please stay still. <laughs> so I imagine red mist, right? Okay, like, I don't even imagine floorboards. I imagine, like, carpet tiles coming up. Off the yeah. floor, yeah. right? Yeah. As and this. he climbs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's really slow, and he's not yeah. got low like upper body strength. on the water, and loads like you know them cheap red serviettes and stuff, yeah. and loads yeah. like straws and like out of date Mister Kipling, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. start flying everywhere. And he's like, "Oh no, the harvest is ruined." <laughs> but you're diabetic, yeah. So one goes in your mouth. Yeah, well, I made a French fancy from two thousand and nine, <laughs> and you just die immediately. And I go, oh no! <laughs> ah, why? <laughs> right, so and so the priest is dead. Lucifer right. is coming out of the ground, right in the middle of this church in yeah, the council yeah. estate in Hattersley. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, and arrives on the scene. Yeah. Okay. Uh, peeling carpet tiles off him. Right. Yeah. And is like, you have given me all the teeth that I need for me to complete my... I think he should be South African. Oh, fuck me, my bro. <laughs> fantastic to be at today. <laughs> I cannot believe that as King of Hell, I'm actually allergic to carpet tiles. Yeah, exactly. You have, you've brought specific amount of teeth for me to survive, <laughs> and I appreciate it. Um, so, right, so, one second. So yeah, why what, has, what has caused... Lucifer himself to sort of come out. He's just oh, randomly popped up. That's a good it, well, question. It, I think maybe, well, I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was going to be some sort of like tooth statue what had been created in the oh, church. Oh, yeah, we should, yeah. And bring, bringing all these teeth in, it's got to be for a purpose, so. Yeah, yeah well, I, 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 right. I reckon, sorry, I think I know what it is. So, obviously, Kindly Doctor has sort of bamboozled this priest and the priest has actually had like the last tooth on him and as you've been sort of going to be falling to your death because of all the motion, you've threw a canine towards something. Fuck. Slow motion. Yeah. It lands in the perfect spot. 10,000 teeth in the shape of what? A cock. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it, so, that would have been visible already in the yeah. church is what I like. Jesus is nailed to it. <laughs> <laughs> With teeth. <laughs> To be fair, an upside down cock isn't that, isn't that far off, is it? Right. Where about it's on the penis as it lands? Right on the tip. Right on the tip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then, eruption, floor starts shaking, carpet tiles move, French yeah. fancy priest mouth. He dies. Lucifer himself has appeared. Oh, uh, Lucifer should be ejaculated out of <laughs> yeah the toothy yeah. penis, the tooth glands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah I like that. Maybe that's the only way to summon Lucifer. Is like a Lucifer should be summoned because of uh, they've asked the council about the potholes, right? And they haven't done anything. But Lucifer's gone. You build me a phallic tooth. cock effigy. Yeah, I'll sort them out for you, pal. <laughs> so that's his motive for coming out. Yeah, sorting out potholes. But then he's like, he says he will. He's not going to. Yeah. He's not. He'll, he'll, you know, palm it off to a third party contractor, won't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just FYI, we've got about five minutes, roughly, to get that final bit in, which is he, he, he ended up with ten million followers. Right. Like. Yeah. Okay. Lucifer, right, is in fucking right over the top. He's been ejaculated. Yeah, yeah. and he's he's landed. Right, and as yeah. a South African devil, 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 <laughs> rot is shot at. <laughs> Absolutely nails the landing, right? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Um, Does he do the? Yeah. Arms up in air. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Looks at uh, the, the kindly doctor. Kindly doctor, and goes. <laughs> 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 I've got one question, my bro. Who the fuck are you? Who am I? You have not seen you coming in here putting teeth on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed everybody that's put penis teeth together. But not you, my bro. All the 10,000. Yeah, he's, he's been watching beneath. <laughs> Got that nine down. You just, I can't continue because you said tooth penis. <laughs> tooth penis. <laughs> right, so, yeah, so. What's that's good, though. That's a good, that's a fine entrance. So does this mean that you're going to arrest me? Well, no, because uh, actually hell is not in the jurisdiction of this particular police force. What I will do is give you a caution and say, you do that again, leave potholes to the council because of people like you that the council are not held up accountable for their lack of road maintenance work. You come along, offer people an easy fix, what the council do. Book more holidays to South Africa 
to commemorate battles they don't know about and have no interest in. And that's a true story. I'm watching you, Tameside Council, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. right, okay. Have you heard of Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, that Basically, this is my first day here on Earth, <laughs> and you are a lot. Okay, you have a big personality, and uh, I've gone slightly French. <laughs> uh, but I've got to say, I think um, you make a valid point about the road surface in Etisley. Uh, something I will look at. Okay, I promise you, I'll give you my word. Can you bring my wife back? But my plan, <laughs> I can't, my friend. She's down there with me. You motherfucker. <laughs> I thought she'd left me yeah. for a Portuguese waiter. I actually spoke to Buddy. He was fucking glad he died. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. <laughs> Too many kids called Buddy. It was becoming very confusing. I think these two have got a partner up in business in some way, shape or form. I think That's you a can... good idea. Yeah. That yes. is a good idea. I have a great, a great business venture. What's that? Do I look like Dragon's fucking den? <laughs> <laughs> this is crackers. This is absolutely crackers. <laughs> just trying to lose Do I look yeah. like Sir I, Alan you know, Chigar? I can imagine this interaction happening and the, the devil kind of like looking at the camera like... <laughs> Is he like, all right, like, yeah. yeah. Lucifer's uh, like offering you a business proposal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Den. Yeah. I'm trying to be friends with you, mate. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate evil. Yeah. Is this there? Fuck about it, pal. I'm looking to take this, uh, this, this idea worldwide. I want to, I want to gain a following. I want to more, bring more people into my world. So, oh, so into the so underworld. The like moment. in Coronation Street? Correct. So you want to make underpants for large northern women? Yes. I want to run a, a small lim- a small linen factory. Yeah. Also, why are we so intense? And the plan the plan is You wanna you want wanna open an underwear factory for large northern women? You sick son of a bitch. <laughs> it has always been a lifelong dream of mine. <laughs> uh, I want to call it <laughs> Hot Panties. <laughs> and eventually. Why not, call, why not call it Hot Satanties? Yes. Then you got Satan in there. This is why I need to bring you on board. Because well, you fuck have the, the police force, fuck my wife, and fuck my dead kid. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I need is for you to help me gain my following. Okay, well, you don't want to go here. You want to go where people got money. Have you heard of the South? Uh, yes, I live in there. You <laughs> live there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God! It's so Africa has directions too. Yes. My God. <laughs> well, how, are you, how are you gaining this following for Lucifer? I, I think videos of him rolling over things. You may have heard people complain about me rolling over their cars and just <laughs> insisting on forward roll using forward rolls as my chief mode of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 15 followers. That's two more than last week. I've been going 15 weeks. For well, this business venture to work, I need I need to hit a certain figure. I need you to help me gain 10 million followers. <laughs> what about a video of the devil and, coming out of a car? And I have one idea which we can do that. I'm going to make a guest appearance in Coronation Street. And they ended up with 10 million <laughs> followers. <laughs> right, let's call it there. Uh, fucking hellfire. That was really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's a that waste was of everyone's time. No, that was brilliant. No, it, 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 it twists and turns. <laughs> <Okay, laughs> <that was laughs> twists and turns, putting it lightly there. <laughs> it's all made up, baby. It was interesting. Like, did you come on with an idea in your head of going, I could, I could fly, fly with this? Yeah, a little bit, little bit, sort of. Well, it's like when we're at gigs together, you know, like there's little germs of things happen. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. And I just wanted to, you know, get the tooth thing out of my system. I think, I think you're quite heavily influenced yeah, by the tooth. Really, it's, it's been very upsetting for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. Nah. It was, yeah. Like, like you said, every guest has had a different and unique sort yeah. of take That's on. That's what I like yeah. about it. You literally yeah. can do whatever you want, can't you? Yeah. yeah. I've, not laugh, I've not laughed like that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. What sort of names are we thinking of then for the for the title? Stretching. Lethal Weapon um, Tooth. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I yeah. think that is yeah, a belt. I And how do you see? How do you see the poster looking? Like if you, if this if you was going to see this at the cinema, before, like when you're walking out at film, basically like lethal catches. weapon. But with teeth. <laughs> I, so you've got I, a vision there, Lewis. You've got a clear vision. I think to uh, if I was like walking past it, I'd want to see the the shape of the tooth penis, right, with nothing but the devil's head out the top of it. Oh, like, like a little silhouette thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. hinting. Or like the Home Alone poster. Where yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. There's like the toothless third eye, and then. Like the cop, like that. And the, yeah. and the cop just leaning up against yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be absolutely brilliant. What, so the cop is leant against the, the tooth penis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, devil silhouette out the top. Yeah. And yeah. then what else are we seeing? Or is that um, pretty close up? I'm trying to think what else was. Um, like, uh, lightning bolts. I like Lisa bolts. Riley like, leaning against the wall like, with, a, with, a, with a sig. <laughs> a sig and a knowing yeah. look. All yeah. oh, right, we, we haven't even mentioned to the guests who we've cast for these parts. So, yeah, who did we cast for um, Kindly Doctor himself? Who was playing Kindly Doctor? It was John Burntall out of uh, yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street, Punisher. I can see him with the mullet. Yeah. That's yeah. He's like a bad strong bad ass strong jaw. Well. Like, yeah, he looks yeah, like he'd knock you out with it. I yeah. reckon he could do a good New York accent as well. I think he's from New York. Is yeah. he from New York? That's he's why he could do a good New York accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's> but <laughs> you've got to remember that he was undercover, so he's also got to have a decent... Where, where's the cop actually from? Hattersley. Hattersley. No, no, because he's, he's, he's working in Hattersley, undercover. No, he's it? actually from... He's, so he's from the and <laughs> undercover there. No, no, because he, he got his accent because of wasps. Yeah. He was stung by wasps. So where's his actual birthplace? Hull or something. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> okay. So Hull, right? But yeah, we've gone for him as kindly doctor. Who, um, Lucifer. Who did we have as Lucifer? Charlie's Theron. Yeah. 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 South yeah. African, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And like, he's, I, 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 I could see he's like a good devil. And uh, we also had the priest, uh, Robert Carlyle. Robert Carlyle would be yeah. sick, yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd be so good. He's got everything, though, wouldn't he? Like, and he's yeah, got. He's, a, fantastic. he's not using his Scottish accent in this. Is well, he's Scottish. Yeah. So he's, he's just been British, pure British. Just like this, yeah. We're, we're yeah. Yeah. I'm only tail and everything, I imagine. Yeah, what's his haircut like? So I've seen him with bullets, I've seen him with quiffs. I've seen, I've, yeah, it, whatever it, you want, he can do his it. His hair is so versatile, it lends itself to most styles. Do you know know. Know. But if you was picking so one Robert style. Robert Styles, they call him. <laughs> Robert Car Styles, yeah. The John O'Shea of hair. The John O'Shea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He'll do a job anywhere that <laughs> Like Ronnie Onsen. He's got Ronnie Onsen fringe. He's brilliant. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> we had Julie, um, the hygienist. Lisa Riley as both. Yeah, so Julie and Carol were played both by Lisa Riley, um, Liam Wanted. And then cool. finally, the Leeds lecturer of dental dental uh, <laughs> that dentistry. Was, yeah, Mick McCarthy. Mick McCarthy, so yeah. A solid shout. <laughs> Just imagine him like massive, imposing figure who just, yeah, yeah, no. I just like the fact that he will just try any job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that no, he yeah. can't even get a job at Scunthorpe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got sacked at Ipswich, so I thought, you know, I might as well start yeah. pulling Actually. teeth together. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, played yeah. Strip Back Four. Uh, yeah. Happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like him when they're filming it. He's got that, someone's holding the lines up. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, he's not really looking at the character, he's like, <laughs> the, only, the only dentist in football boots. <laughs> And then, if we was making a trailer for this, what would the soundtrack be? What's the soundtrack to this film? Just Van Halen. <laughs> what, jump? Just, just jump constantly, but <laughs> at different speeds and pitches. <laughs> 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 like, the say, this, like, in any situation, no matter, like, the tension in the in the scene, it's always jump, but just slow down or jump. sped up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you imagine how sinister that... <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'd love that. I've, I've got the like a, a, a scene in my head for the trailer of the cop like in a car park just rolling <laughs> over one car and another and another and another and another and then just going into like Asda. <laughs> <laughs> and then leaving. That would be amazing. I would I would genuinely watch like the rest of the film is dreadful. But I just sort of see a man uh, with a mullet, past a leather jacket and a, and a beretta just yeah. rolling about. <laughs> but his back is fucked. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How long has he been rolling for? How long has he been doing it? All the time on his shoulders. I imagine a scene in it. So obviously all this action has been going on, and then there's one of them like quiet, solemn scenes where he's just in bathroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, like peeling off plastic. <laughs> 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 you know, like when someone's got a bullet wound yeah, in yeah. it, fucking yeah. walking down. Yeah. And he's, yeah. 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 he's playing like an acoustic version. <laughs> and he don't. He, he goes, he has a flashback to Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Send him to his rolling <laughs> wheel. He's too many fans. Was that a pack of Starburst at his arm? Yeah, the, the flashback to Carol doing it, and then, oh, back at it again. What's the then... stuff you put on? Is it called TCP? Is <laughs> yeah, that the stuff TCP, you... <laughs> yeah. How much you been spending on TCP? I told you, we, I don't have been spending any on TCP. And then she opens the cupboard and all these empty fucking TCP things fall out. Yeah, you're right again. Yeah. <laughs> you stopped. Why is you lying to me? Because I need the TCP. <laughs> you told me you'd stop rolling. <laughs> I was born rolling, I'll live rolling, and by God, I'll die rolling. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> 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 I think that's a good place to wrap it up though yeah. what do you think I think, I think, yeah, I think it's been keep, absolutely keep rolling yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep, yeah that's the tagline to the film <laughs> keep, 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 roll. keep rolling <laughs> lethal weapon 2 <laughs> keep, keep rolling, rolling. <laughs> Oh, that was superb. Yeah. All right, thank oh. you very much for that, Liam. Oh, yeah, oh thank brilliant. You. Just Thanks quickly, is there anywhere where people can find you online? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, tell the guests about s- submitting um, oh, prompt yeah. ideas right. and things like that. So the beauty of this podcast is, Liam, that the listeners uh, that are non-existent at the moment but will be soon <laughs> um, can send in suggestions for future storylines uh, okay. and they can do that by sending it to the All Made Up pod uh, handles on social media and we'll read them out at the end of future episodes and then pick which ones go in the pots okay um, so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so guess yeah um, guess listeners if you can do that that would be absolutely fantastic because it'd be good for get some of your ideas and uh, yeah. play them out so making up ones. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you enjoyed it tell someone it makes yeah. a big difference um, <laughs> definitely does <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for listening and this has been All Made Up with Liam Pickford thank you very much thank you Liam thanks guys cheers it's all made up again